you, Jacques and Emily and Eileen. We're just very excited to be here. And we want to thank all of you for also joining us today to learn about Pitt, Ohio and exciting careers in the transportation and logistics industry. I'll wait till Morgan. Morgan's going to run the PowerPoint in our videos today. Yeah. Can everybody see my PowerPoint? It's pulling up right now. Yes. Yeah, we could see it. Thank you. Great. Welcome. So we wanted to start off by asking all of you if you've really given any thoughts to where you see yourself after high school. Because, um, you know, we feel it's never too early to really start thinking about your future. And maybe that includes college, working as a laborer, owning your own business, or perhaps joining the military. Are you, do you want to click it, Morgan? I don't know. There we go. Because uh, one thing I can tell you is that I really never imagined I would be working at a trucking company. And I think that's because I really had no idea what to expect from the industry or what a career in this industry could be. So I'm Jackie Ward. I am the Senior Marketing and PR Coordinator at Pitt, Ohio. And I've asked Morgan from, from our HR department to join me today to help me highlight Pitt, Ohio and, and really tell you all about the trucking and transportation industry. You know, perhaps, you know, you've seen our name or even seen one of our trucks on the road, but let us tell you more about Pitt, Ohio. So let's start off, though, with an explanation of the trucking industry. So Morgan, thank you again for joining us today. Can you tell us what you know about the trucking industry? Sure, Jackie. So currently, there are roughly 7 million jobs throughout the United States. Of these 7 million jobs, 3.5 million of them are for professional drivers. Professional drivers are in high demand as more than 80% of the United States rely solely on drivers to deliver their goods. Not only are they in high demand, but these drivers in the trucking industry are essential to our national and global economy. That chair that you're sitting in, the table where you eat your breakfast, and that swing set you play on were all likely delivered by a truck. Transportation is a vital industry and we need hardworking and dependable people to work for us. Okay, so before we get into those positions that you need to fill, let's talk about Pitt, Ohio specifically. I know that they're headquartered in Pittsburgh, PA, and they put their first truck on the road in 1979. But Morgan, what else can you tell us about Pitt, Ohio? Sure, so Pitt, Ohio has a longstanding history of success financial stability, and growth. Throughout our 40 years of operation, Pitt, Ohio has opened up 21 terminal locations in nine different states. To give you a broad overview of Pitt, Ohio as an enterprise, I thought it would be good to share a short video with you about who we are as a company and our enterprise of services. Customer-driven, people-driven, quality-driven. All of these characteristics have made Pitt, Ohio a leader in offering fast, reliable, and dependable transportation solutions for over 30 years. Pitt, Ohio was founded in 1979 as a regional LTL trucking company offering a, a next day service between Pittsburgh and Cleveland. And we've evolved tremendously over the last 30 plus years. But today we're a transportation solutions company focusing on four key areas of service. We offer supply chain services, we offer ground services, LTL services, and truckload services. We are customer driven. We listen and collaborate with our customers to develop business solutions based on customers' feedback. So we've had a strategy to differentiate ourselves from our competitors by focusing on the needs of our customers, first of all. We're not the largest transportation solutions provider in the globe. What we want to be is to be the most effective one for our customers. The other thing that we've really focused on is trying to offer services that other carriers resist doing. But we're willing to develop a unique solution for each of those customers that have these problem type shipments out there and work with them to develop a solution so they can succeed in the marketplace and help their customers. At Pitt, Ohio, we hold true to our word. We do what we say we're going to do and deliver what we promise to deliver. We truly believe the success of our organization can be attributed to our employees' dedication, pride, and outstanding work ethic. The commitment and loyalty of our employees facilitates the success of our organization. 
At Pitt, Ohio, our employees are truly our most important resource in the company. Their productivity and their passion for their work are second to none. At Pitt, Ohio, we work really hard to create the right work environment for our employees. And we feel that if we create the right work environment, we'll be able to deliver excellent customer service. It's a really a commitment to meeting and exceeding the needs of our customers and their expectations. And it's really built upon the abilities of our employees to offer exceptional customer service. Developing the best in-house practices in regards to technology, safety, security, and sustainability showcases our commitment to our employees, our customers, and the community. Pitt, Ohio is extremely innovative from a technology perspective and technology that adds value to our customers. We were one of the first organizations to offer real-time tracking and tracing when the shipment gets picked up and when it gets delivered. We enabled that by putting onboard computers on every one of our trucks. Pitt, Ohio has built a competency in the area of safety. Uh, we've been recognized by the American Trucking Association five times in the past 20 years for operating the safest fleet in America. Today, more than 20% of our shipments on a daily basis uh, are hazardous materials, and we've developed a tremendous expertise conforming to government regulations and our shippers' expectations as well. Pitt, Ohio is continually recognized throughout the industry and by our customers for our outstanding service innovative approaches to business, safety, technology, and for our commitment to overall excellence. This is accomplished by assembling the best, most qualified team of courteous drivers, reliable dock workers, proficient mechanics, and professional office staff who take pride in their job and strive to deliver top-notch service on a daily basis. Pitt, Ohio, we're always there for you. So I think that that's a great video, Morgan, that really showcases, you know, all that Pitt Ohio does, the services that we provide for our customers. Um, it sounds like Pitt Ohio continues to grow, you know, each year, which, which is important to its employees. Um, and we've been hearing a lot about essential businesses these days, which require essential employees to fill essential roles. So I guess let's talk about the positions that Pitt Ohio has. Like we know you need drivers to drive the trucks, obviously. But what are some of the other job opportunities that we might find in your career center? That is a great question, Jackie. Although our key function as a business is to transport goods and services to our customers, we offer many other career paths for potential employees. Do you like talking to people and helping solve problems? Well, then maybe a career in our HR department is a good fit for you. We also offer employment and customer service which is a great department for people who enjoy phone work and helping others. Are you creative and enjoy social media? Another career path with Pitt Ohio would be in our marketing department, where they look for individuals with creativity, strong writing skills, and someone who enjoys working in a team environment. We have sales representatives throughout our entire network that are spread throughout nine different states and sometimes across the country who travel around meeting our customers. These individuals' key strengths are that they're persuasive and enjoy convincing others that Pitt, Ohio is the best fit for their needs. Our supply chain department is a great career for problem solvers and people who enjoy working in a group. Last but not least would be a career in our IT department. Technology is a growing and ever-changing field in our industry and especially with our company. So these all sound great, Morgan, and definitely careers that I was not expecting from a trucking company. But now let's get into the more commonly known uh, positions in your operations department. Can you tell me a little bit more about those? Absolutely. We are always looking to hire dock workers, drivers, and mechanics for our operations positions. So it sounds like Pitt, Ohio has a lot of opportunities for both college-educated employees and those who want to start working right after high school. Yes, that's correct. Our employees and their backgrounds are as diverse as the job opportunities we have to offer. So what are some of the challenges um, that you guys are facing in trying to fill these essential roles? It's true. We are facing some challenges filling some of our operations roles specifically for our drivers. So that's why these types of presentations are so important to us. We want to reach out to as many people as possible to highlight the industry and why Pitt, Ohio is the company you want to work for. 
So I see this quote about the driver shortage. Um, what are some of the things that Pitt Ohio has planned to answer the driver shortage? Well, Pitt Ohio started our professional driver apprentice program in 2018, which has since been helping us fill the seats in our trucks. Our driver apprentice program is an extensive paid training program that will prepare applicants for a career behind the wheel. Throughout the training program, you'll learn about the trucking industry and what makes Pitt, Ohio the best place to work. Great. So it sounds like maybe you have this outlined the whole career ladder for the program. That's correct. And successful candidates can expect raises at each level to help them build a sustainable career for themselves. I actually have a video about our apprentice program that I'd like to share with you right now. What industry supports 7 million jobs throughout the United States? The trucking industry. And of those, 3.5 million jobs are professional drivers. This profession is in demand as more than 80% of the United States relies solely on drivers to deliver their goods. Drivers and the trucking industry are necessary to our national and global economy. You hear a lot about essential businesses these days. We know that being an essential business also means counting on our essential frontline employees, our drivers. They are an essential part of our business and the men and women working with our customers every day to keep our economy going. What are your goals for your future? Where do you see yourself after high school? Pitt Ohio sees you here with our essential business in this essential industry. We want to put you in a position to become part of our vital, growing, and changing industry that will provide a wonderful career for your future. We want to introduce you to the Professional Driver Apprentice Program. Pitt Ohio's Professional Driver Apprentice Program is an extensive pay training program that will prepare you for a career behind the wheel. Throughout this training program, you'll learn about the trucking industry and what makes Pitt Ohio the best place to work. What can you gain by joining this program and working for an award-winning company? You have the ability to create the life you desire with job stability and career advancement at Pitt, Ohio. Whether behind the wheel or on our dock every day, you're guaranteed that weekly paycheck in your pocket. As one of the top workplaces at many of our terminals, you receive a rich health care benefits package that is not only good for you, but also the family you may have in the future. Our culture is built around helping each other to be the best in the industry. Our employees take pride in working at Pitt, Ohio, and believe in mentoring new employees to create a safe and enjoyable working environment. At Pitt, Ohio, our employees are our most valuable resource, and the right candidate can move into specific career advancement opportunities. There are some pretty standard requirements all of our drivers must meet to be behind one of our wheels. We are looking for hardworking, committed, and friendly individuals who would like the ability to climb the career ladder with our professional driver apprenticeship program. Pitt Ohio is the best company to drive for because we are people driven, customer driven, and quality driven. But what does it mean to be driven? Since 1979, we've never been satisfied with the status quo. We're always pushing to be better each day. People with this mentality and drive are the types we seek to employ. People who will help to grow our company year after year. At the end of the day, we're in a service business and our customers are extremely important. Our drivers are the face of our company. You will be in front of our customers every day. You will represent Pitt, Ohio more so than anyone or anything else. 
We mentioned a safe work environment earlier, which is possible because safety is our culture. It has and always will be our number one priority. Management offers extensive and continuous training for all employees, and our owner is committed to making the right investments in our fleet to make sure everyone behind the wheel is safe, including our drivers and the drivers we share the roads with. Today, cars are equipped with cameras, lane departure warnings, and enhanced collision mitigation technology. You can expect the same kind of safety features in a Pitt, Ohio vehicle. Our drivers are responsible for making sure Americans have the things they need to get to work, to make breakfast, heck, even the bed you woke up in this morning. Our business is essential because our communities rely on our drivers to keep the economy moving and deliver what they need every day. When we talk to our drivers, so many of them express the pride they have in being behind the wheel of a Pitt, Ohio truck. A pride so easily expressed because of their appreciation for our ownership. An owner who is relatable, supportive, empathetic, and someone who truly cares about his employees. He will be the first to tell you that our company is the success it is today because of the efforts from his employees. That's why our company reinvests in our employees with training, equipment, and the right technology we mentioned earlier to keep everyone safe. Oh, did we mention sustainability? Pitt, Ohio is revolutionizing what it means to be green in the trucking industry. Electric trucks and forklifts, a patented renewable energy process for our microgrid, and a sympathetic heart towards giving back and supporting the less fortunate. You might say we're more than a trucking company. We're a partner in the community, bringing essential services and support to our neighborhoods. We want to put you in the driver's seat. So what do you say? Will you be our next essential employee and join our professional driver apprenticeship program? That's great. Thank, thank you for sharing that with us, Morgan. Um, it really gives a great overview of the program and it was great to hear from uh, one of the drivers. So can you tell us what um, the driver apprentices in the program can expect to gain? Sure. So once you accept a position with Pitt, Ohio, our employees have the ability to create the life they desire with job stability and career advancement options. Whether they are behind the wheel or on our dock, our employees are guaranteed that weekly paycheck in their pocket. Do you want to purchase a car, rent an apartment, take that bucket list trip you've always dreamed of? Well, a driving career at Pitt, Ohio can help you help get you these things and more. As one of the nationally ranked top workplace companies in our industry, you also receive a rich healthcare benefits package that is not only good for you now, but also the family that you may have in the future. So I know it was in the video, but can you review again what those job requirements are for the job, the professional driver apprentice program? Sure, so minimally, we need our driver apprentices to be 18 years of age. The reason for this is because the Department of Transportation, otherwise known as the DOT, requires you to be 18 years of age to handle freight that is labeled hazardous material. We also look for individuals with good, clean driving records because at Pitt, Ohio, safety is our number one priority. And so, um, you know, what does Pitt, Ohio expect from its applicants, somebody who may want a job like this? As with any job, we do look for certain characteristics that we think many of you watching this presentation already have. Some of those characteristics are that we ask that you show up ready for work every day and on time, and that you provide your best efforts on every assignment. We also ask that you perform work assignments in a safe manner and approach work with a positive outlook. So it sounds like those are some good characteristics to have to work in any one of the previous departments that we talked about. Oh yes, of course. These traits and good customer service skills are also really important to us. And what would some of those customer service skills include? We look for individuals with a strong work ethic, good time management and communication skills, and overall someone who presents themselves with a positive image to our customers. And when candidates have these skills, what can an apprentice expect from Pitt, Ohio? What kind of assistance 
um, do you provide them with? Um, our culture is built around helping each other to be the best in the industry. Our employees take pride in working at Pitt, Ohio, and believe in mentoring new employees to create a safe and enjoyable working environment. Okay, well, I think that's really important to provide that type of mentorship for such an essential role, one that is vital to the success of the company and also making sure that Americans have what they need every day. Absolutely. It's Pitt, Ohio's core beliefs that really make us stand out as an employer of choice. When we talk to our drivers, so many of them talk about the pride they have in being behind the wheel of a Pitt, Ohio truck, a pride so easily expressed because of their appreciation for our ownership. So we heard about the ownership in the video, but can you tell me a little bit more about the ownership of Pitt, Ohio? Sure. Our owner is relatable, supportive, empathetic, and someone who truly cares about his employees. He will be the first to tell you that our company and the success it holds today is because of the efforts from his employees. That's why our company reinvests in our employees through training, equipment, and the right technology to keep everyone safe. Well, keeping everyone safe seems to be a really important value at Pitt, Ohio. What are some of the other core beliefs at Pitt, Ohio, and why would this matter to a future employee? So safety is definitely our number one priority in an area everyone at Pitt, Ohio is committed to. We care about the safety of our employees and everyone with whom we share the road. It is because of this commitment that we have received the President's Trophy seven times for operating the safest fleet in the country. It's pretty obvious that safety should be at the top of the list of values. What else does Pitt, Ohio focus on? In addition to safety, we focus on delivering the best service to our customers including diverse solutions for their shipping needs. We also mentioned technology earlier. This is an area that is constantly changing and evolving, and so are we. And lastly, we have a huge investment in focusing on sustainability. Yeah, we showed some of that footage about sustainability in the video, which is kind of surprising for a trucking company, right? Yeah, it is. It might be surprising, but we're doing some pretty unique things to preserve our planet. So they touched on it in the video, but can you tell us one or two things? Of course. We're really interested in renewable energy and just received the patent for the process we developed for our microgrid. We know that 90% of our CO2 comes from our trucks, so the more we can reduce our carbon dioxide, the more we can reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We also have five buildings that achieved LEED ratings, which is leadership in energy and environmental design. And one of our terminals in New Jersey gets all of its electricity needs from their solar panels, making it the first net zero trucking terminal. So that was definitely more than two things. <laughs> well, we see sustainability as a difference maker for us and look for our employees who might share in this passion as well. Well, I'm really impressed with everything that Pitt Ohio has achieved, what the company is doing to solidify growth, what you do for your employees and the environment. Um, I do, I, I feel like we're kind of coming up on four o'clock here and we definitely want to give um, all of the kids an opportunity to ask questions as well. But is there anything else that you wanted to mention, Morgan, before we wrap it up? No, I just wanted to say thanks again for letting me join the presentation. I do encourage everyone to visit our website and follow us on our social media pages to keep up with everything we're doing and the job opportunities we have in your area. Great. Thanks, Morgan. We do have the contact information up there if you want to connect with Morgan. Um, and with that, um, Emily will open it up for questions virtually and jock with people in the club, too. Thank you all so much. That was really informative. Um, sorry, I heard myself echoing. So um, <laughs> all of the youth, you know that I have a million questions, but I would love to hear from from all of you guys instead of um, me. So if you have any questions, there's nothing too small or like there are no stupid questions, right? So who would like to go first? We have one. Um, so in order to get to the job there, you would have to be 18 years old. And what did you, what would you have to like go to a certain college? Or no, that's a really good question. So you're correct. Um, we do require you to be 18 years of age to work for Pitt, Ohio, due to us handling hazardous material. Um, but what's really great is the uh, 
professional driver apprentice program that we started in 2018 does not require any formal college or training. Um, it is considered a paid internship program where we would give you all of the on-the-job training needed to become a driver and be successful in your career in the transportation industry. Um, I'll just one. If you don't mind explaining, um, I have a question. What does just a day-to-day -day environment look like for a Pitt, Ohio um, employee? You just mind explaining what that's like? Sure. Jackie, do you want to give that one or do you want I to mean, guess? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, our drivers, you know, they, they report in every day. I mean, one thing for um, drivers at our company is they are home every day. There's nothing, you know, no overnights or anything. So that's a difference between, you know, maybe some of the other truck company, trucking companies, truck drivers you see out on the road, um, you know, you can probably tell our tractors are, are a little bit uh, smaller. There's no sleeping arrangements inside of the tractors, so there's no overnights. Um, you know, they handle, they, they come in, they handle all of their paperwork that they have, and, and the dock workers are helping them to get it, you know, their trailer or their, their straight truck loaded up, and they head out. There's different shifts, right, Morgan? There's the morning shift and afternoon yeah, so depending on what driving position you're in, um, more specifically our class A drivers have different shifts. So we have a position called a class A city driver, which is um, a daylight hours position, typically Monday through Friday work. Um, and then we also have a class A line haul driver position. Uh, like Jackie had mentioned, although our drivers are home every day, our line haul drivers uh, do drive overnight. So they typically start around 7 to 10 p.m. and work their shift and then they're back at the terminal to head home to get some rest um, in their own bed. Thank you. Do we have any more questions? I have a question. Hmm. Okay, so I have a, uh, like, is there a certain amount of, like, a distance you can go depending on, like, what department you work in, like if you do overnight, can you go to like different states and stuff? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, yeah, most of our drivers do cross state lines just due to where our terminals are located. Um, so, you know, that's definitely a possibility that in one night they could maybe be in two, three different states, just depending on the route that they're driving. Okay. Even daytime shift drivers as well. Okay. I'll take a turn while hopefully, you know, you're thinking of a couple more questions. Um, so Jackie, at the beginning, you said, you know, uh, I think a really powerful statement about how you never imagined working in the trucking industry, right? But as, um, as we saw in the presentation, right, there are so many different, um, you know, there's operations, there's everything that we think of in terms of like what trucking looks like, but there's also all the behind the scenes um, people who make the operation work, right? So um, this, it's kind of a question for both of you. What is your favorite parts of your job? So uh, you're right. I mean, I definitely, I was not expecting to find a career in trucking, but I think that's a great way to put it. It's all the people behind the scenes. Uh, even though, you know, logistics, transportation is an essential business, and we talk about our drivers and our dock workers and our vehicle maintenance and our building maintenance employees, but all the people behind the scenes are essential too to make sure that all those processes happen. Um, I definitely, in marketing, we handle like all the charity involvements, right, and giving back. And so getting to meet, you know, the Boys and Girls Club and our other corporate charities is really one of the best parts about my job. Um, we like love giving back and, and really our owner makes it so easy for us to be able to do that and the support from you know, all of our employees who raise money and, uh, you know, make it possible for us to be able to give the way that we do. Um, that's really fulfilling for me personally, um, but it's nice that it's also professionally too. Yeah, and I guess for me, um, from the HR side, human resources, my favorite part is actually what we're doing right now. 
Um, I manage our professional driver apprentice program. So the best parts of my day are whenever I get to interact with the youth and the students and talk to them about how a career in the transportation industry is very lucrative and a really great alternative if they are not interested in going to you know, a, a college or if they're really just looking for a career in a trades industry. Um, I have a question is, could you please uh, elaborate few of the challenges uh, that any, any newcomer can face in, in Pitt, Ohio while working mm -hmm. in different positions, any, any common challenges and how, how they actually overcome those? Um, I, I think as far as challenges, I mean, I know we kind of touched on it a little bit in the presentation. Morgan, you might have a little bit more on the challenges, but I think what's great about our company is the mentorship that's available and the amount of interaction you can have with more veteran drivers, veteran dock workers, and just the, the whole team spirit that we have. And everybody's like willing to help each other and, you know, like show you how to do something. Um, so if there's something that you don't know, I think that you're able to, to easily ask somebody um, just because of how cooperative everybody is. Yeah, and, and Jackie's exactly right. You know, that's how we, I, I would say, overcome any challenges. I, I think if I were to point out one, um, I think it's just getting used to working in multiple different climates. So especially for like our dock workers, that's one thing that we always, you know, like to stress being up front is that if it's snowing outside, although you have a roof over your head, it's going to be a little bit cold. So, you know, vice versa in the summer, it might be really hot out. So to me, if that's the, the hardest challenge that you have, I think that's easily overcome, especially like Jackie said, with our team morale and just everybody always having your back. Good question. Uh, I have a, oh. I have a question. Um, uh, um, what what was y'all doing before y'all um, became uh, what y'all are today? And what age did you, um, you know, decided that you wanted to uh, do this job? So I went, um, I did go to college. I went to Slippery Rock University and got my degree in communications. And I started working for Pitt, Ohio right out of college. So I have been there since for. All right, well, I'll just age myself. I've been there for 16 years. Um, it's a great company to work for. I think that longevity and really commitment, you know, from the company to myself and the commitment I give back to them, it just, you know, that loyalty, you don't know, always find. Um, but I think we do have a lot of employees who have been there for a long time. So um, I was at college before I started. This was my first job out of college. Yeah, and my background's a little different to give some diversity to that question. Um, I also decided to go to college. I went to Penn State University and got my bachelor's degree in English literature. So I think in retrospect, something that's pretty cool is that, you know, I went to college and I didn't really know what I wanted to do after college other than the short term, -term goal of just wanting to go to college. So after I graduated, um, I took a sales position with AT&T. Um, you know, it taught me a lot of life lessons, but that's what led me into my career in HR and eventually my position with Pitt, Ohio. These are all great questions. I'm yeah. impressed. <laughs> Very good question. question, if I may. Um, what are the long-term benefits of um, working with Pitt, Ohio, if you don't mind explaining? I know you mentioned, um, you know, possibly... Um, renting or getting an apartment or getting your own vehicle, but can you um, elaborate more on like the long-term benefits of, um, you know, networking? Oh yeah, I mean, networking for sure. I mean, long-term benefits, you know, the company is, um, you know, very committed to its employees, as we mentioned, you know, ourselves and in the videos, you know, the safety, right? So we are continuously recognized for our safety, but that's not why we do it. Um, we do it because it's the right thing to do, making sure that all of our employees are safe and everybody that we share the road with is safe. Morgan, do you wanna to touch on like the benefits at all? Yeah, so I think some of the long-term benefits are that especially, you know, again, for the youth, with them starting off in the professional, dri professional driver apprentice program, the sky is really the limit. Um, so they'll start off in, you know, a dock worker position to learn the operations, learn more about 
the hard work it takes just to get the drivers off the dock and out to make their deliveries. They'll advance into different non-CDL driving positions, then move into CDL positions. And then even beyond that, they could you know, become a dispatcher, work in our safety department, become a supervisor, or even a terminal manager. I mean, most of our terminal managers have worked their way through the, the ranks as well. So I think that there's huge potential for the long term. Thank you. Yeah. We have any more questions at all? I have a question. Uh, could you please suggest our youths how they can be prepared? Uh, like since you say that if uh, someone wants to work and uh, they need to be like 18 years old, so how they can be prepared uh, for like starting their career with Pitt Ohio, so that uh, like you know like uh, beforehand they can they can practice maybe or maybe they can learn few things before applying. Yeah, so the number one thing um, in terms of preparation that I always talk to the youth about is making sure that they, on a personal level, keep a safe driving history. So that is one thing, you know, I was once a teenager with a new license and I know it's exciting to drive fast and things like that, um, but speeding tickets or reckless driving charges, even accidents, could prohibit them from being able to enter into our apprentice program. So if I have one piece of advice, it's just to stay safe on the road, even when it's in your personal vehicle. Um, I have a question. Sure. So whenever you mean like uh, you get into accidents, right? Can it be like, okay, so would you be like unqualified to work for a job if the accident wasn't your fault? Yeah, so that all goes into consideration, but our typical standard is that you can have no more than three moving violations on your MBR within the past three years. So our safety department is the one that really reviews all of that information. So I don't want to kind of speak out of turn, um, but the less accidents, the better. <laughs> okay. I had to jump off for a, a short bit to make a phone call, so, but I do have a quick question for you guys too. Um, so if, if, it, if someone is interested in a driving job but doesn't have a driving license, like, did I miss that, Emily? Did, do you guys help um, with driver training and you know, paying for driver training by chance? Yeah, so they would minimally have to have like their personal like class D license to be able to enter the program. Um, but we do give all the on the job training needed for them to obtain their CDL license, uh, both class B and class A CDL licenses. Mm, okay. I have one more question. I don't know if you all can answer this, um, but one of the videos, one of the things I thought was really cool um, was the idea that, you know, you all um, work with your customers very intimately and can um, create like unique solutions for what they need. I wonder if you all have any examples to share of how, what that might look like. Just curious. Oh, yeah. I mean, we do have, um, you know, there, there could be cases where they need a specialized pickup, they need specialized equipment, um, certain locations. Uh, could require a certain customer, you know, has a specialized product, they need an inside, you know, delivery, a driver to go inside. I mean, it's really about collaborating and trying to understand the pain points that our customers are experiencing. And once we understand those, we can kind of take it back to the drawing board and our supply chain solutions department is great. They come up with a lot of innovative solutions, you know, ideas for our customers. Um, yeah, that we, we, we do a lot of different things for, for our different customers. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yes, that's all of our questions. Thank you so much, Pitt Ohio, and um, Miss Jackie, Miss Morgan for coming out, taking the time to um, provide this wonderful opportunity. Great. Yeah, thank you for having us. Really great questions. I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting all of this. <laughs> 
Yeah, thank you again for having us. Um, it was a pleasure. And I think between Jackie and I, we're happy to do this anytime. And if you have any follow-up questions, please feel free to reach out to either one of us.